The sixth grade students at Herbert Middle School in Mrs. Pritchard's class wrote essays about real men and women in their lives. What you will hear is a short summary of their essays. What is writing? Writing is the formation of letters to express words and ideas. Writing is what makes your thoughts come alive. Everyone has a unique and different style of writing. My, my name is Sarah King and I did an essay on my mom, Heather King. My mom, Heather King, is very special. Is a very special person. She helps us in our family who need help and she also help, she also tries to make them happy. That is very hard because she has five children and a husband to take care of. My name is Austin Namaska. For my essay, I chose my mom. She helps out with my family and takes care of us while my dad's at work. She works part-time nursing. She's worked hard all her life, and now she spends her time being my mom. My name is Ben Brothers, and for this essay, I'll be doing Lisa Brothers, my mom. My mom is a great person. She is very helpful with everything. My mom is also great with plants. She cares about them like they're her own children. That's one wonderful thing about my mom. Hi, my name is Jen Simney, and for my essay, I did my mom, Mary Simney. The thing, something that's nice about my mom is that she cares about me and my schoolwork and my life. She has two children and a husband and a house to take care of. She takes care of me when I'm sick, and she's always there when I need her. Hi, my name is Shane Ortega, and for my essay, I chose my gift. I learned a lot of things about him. One important thing I learned about him is that he cares about his job and his family. One, one other important reason I care about him is because he taught me how to catch for my little league baseball team. Um, my name is Tim O'Donnell and my real person was my mom. And um, she likes her job at the Providence Care Center of Lettics and she cares about her family and she washes the laundry and cooks for us. I like when she makes spaghetti. This is Bill Whitaker. He is the owner of the garden. The garden is located on North Street. Um, there is, the garden officially opened May 1st, 2001. The other owner of the garden is Matt. My name is Patrick Everhart, and I chose to do my mom. My mom is a great person and is a hard worker. She was born August 16, 1962, in New York. She had two older siblings. She went to many different schools because her family moved off. My mom married in 1985 and had two children. My mom now has a great job as a house cleaner and helps care for friends' children. I think my mom is a great role model for women who want to start families because she's a terrific mom. I'm Liz Rutledge and I chose to do my Aunt Marion Rutledge. My Aunt Marion is everything a girl can need. She's kind, she's funny, and she's just like me. Marion has a love for animals and she's adopted two dogs and a cat. She loves the salt air and beach combing. Once she found a gorgeous ring on the shore. Marion makes the most of everything and appreciates the little things in life. She encourages me and gives me tips for my writing and acting. She loves me unconditionally and is always willing to lend a hand. She currently works as a librarian and gardener, but she doesn't garden in the winter. Role model? Definitely. But she's more than that. She's a friend. I'm Amanda Williams, and the person I chose was my science teacher, Miss Brenda Burbank. Miss Burbank is one of the sixth grade science teachers here at Herbert Middle School. She inspires other, in, others, including myself, because of her passion for education. She went to Wakona Regional High School and graduated in 1984. She's been to three colleges, including Berkshire Community College, Westfield State, and American International College. 
She's only 36 and she has her associate's, bachelor's, and master's degree. It took her six years of hard work, self-confidence, and support to become the sixth grade teacher she is now. But do you think she cared at the time? Not a chance. Hi, I'm Dan Nesty. I chose to do Floyd at Nesty, my mom. When she was a child, she had it hard because her dad was a weapons specialist and a weapons instructor in the Vietnam War. She was always moving all over the United States and then to Morocco because of her dad's job. She was able to overcome that fear that her dad was in danger every day and went to school. Her mom and dad didn't have a lot of money, so my mom got tons of scholarships to get into college without her parents having to pay much. After the war was over, she, got, she went fishing with her dad, which she enjoyed very much and still loves fishing today. Hi, my name is Asia Roberts. I did an essay on my mom. She's a very special person in my life. Her name is Tammy Sue Blair. My mom takes care of things at the house because she can't work outside the home. She has a disability. She takes care of two children, me and my brother. I appreciate all of the help she's given me throughout the years. I love her and I love and respect for my mom as she does me. I did Christine Crohn's for my real woman essay. The reason why I chose her as my topic is because she is a sweet and caring person in my life. She helps me in my schoolwork, and when I am not happy, she cheers me up. Hi, my name is Angela, and for my essay, I wrote about my mom. She is an artist, and she paints at any free time she has. Every summer in downtown Pittsfield, she always displays her work in the art fair. My mom loves the ocean, and every time we go to the ocean, she always sketches in her sketchbook all the people and animals she sees at the ocean. She's always there for me. I love her very much, and I'm glad she's my mom. Hi, my name is Joshua Bigger. For my essay, I wrote about my aunt, Tammy Bigger. She's a special and fantastic woman. That's why I picked her. One thing I admire about her is that she is in the Army. I'd like to join the Army after high school. My name is Jane Sweeney, and I've done this to my mom. My mom is a very special person in my life. Her name is Paula Marie Hebler. She was born on April 21st, 1967. She is a great mother to me and my brother. She works at Big Lots part-time and is a full-time mom. My mom has many qualities. She, my mom lets me know that she cares about my brother, my family, and I love my mom for that. Hi, my name is Jara Richards, and I chose my mom, Lynn Richards, for my Real Woman essay. My mom is a great woman. She will always cook my sister and I great meals and experiment with everything. She is always ready to take us to sports or appointments, and she will help me on projects if they just won't work. Lynn Richards is a great woman. She is my mom, but more, she is a role model and a friend. My name is Devin Howarder, and I want to tell you about my mom. My mom grew up in Maine, and she is a great cook. She says that if everybody took more time to remember what it was like being a child, that the world would be a ha happier place. I think she's right, because she usually is. Oh, hi, my name is Nicole Carnavale, and I have chosen my mother, Sally Carnavale, for the subject of my essay because she has time to do my father's bookwork for his own business called Mark Carnavale Electric and her own job at Berkshire West, and still even has time to bring me and my sister to gymnastics four times a week, and that's why I call her. My name is Jacob Lyon, and I did my essay on my mother. Lindy Ryan. She was born November 21st in Syracuse, New York, in 1959. She works at a daycare center as a teacher. I love her very much and she loves me also. My name is Kyle Patton. I did my essay on Steve Munger. He teaches, he teaches me new things in different subjects. He, I like it most when he teaches me baseball. He teaches me new techniques. He used to play third and shortstop. He helps me bat better than before. That is why I did my essay on him. Hi, my name is Nick Barber. I did my essay on my mother, Joanne Barber. She 
grew up in Tottenham, Massachusetts, and she works at Berkshire Medical Center. She go, she brings me to all our games and never misses them. I play baseball, basketball, soccer, and lacrosse, and she always watches them. She never misses a game. Hi, my name is Tom, Tommy Bond. I did my essay on my father, Thomas Bond. I did my essay on my dad because he's always been there for me and he's really nice. He even makes time to show up to my sport games, even if he doesn't have any. He also makes time for me to talk to him if I have to. That's why I did my report on my dad, Tom. Hi, my name is Matthew Walters and I picked Mr. Kelly as being my subject on my essay. He is nice to everyone and he teaches me social studies and science. And he's very active and he teaches people the juggle and other things. And I wish when I grow up I could be just like him. Hi, my name is Megan Phelps and I did my mother for my real woman essay. My mother, Rosemary, is a wonderful person with a great personality. She loves to go for long walks on the beach, plant flowers, and go for a bike ride with her family. My mother and I love to do things together and explain new things that we learned in our everyday life. Also, she loves when everyone is home from their after school activities and we all sit down to a family dinner. She loves when there is holidays because she gets to see all of her family from far away and make a big dinner. We both love to go shopping, watch movies, and make lots of cookies. I'm not too sure what I want to do when I grow up, but one thing's for sure, I want to be like my mother. Hi, my name is Christopher Tweed Kent. I did my report on Patricia Begowitz. She is an incredible woman and an outstanding role model for young women. She was the first vice president of operations at Mead. In her field, there are mostly men, but she didn't care. She has accomplished a lot in her life, including raising three children by herself. My name is Rachel Lovato, and I did Best Seller Tour for my essay. Beth Salvatore is not your average woman. She is above the rest. She has taught me and many others to work hard and achieve our goals. Beth is a very unique woman and always is willing to help. Beth has had many ups and downs in her life, but that never brought her spirit down. I love that about her. For a living, Beth and her sister own a horse farm called Riverbank Farm, and that's how I first met Beth. She is now a lot more of a friend and a trainer than I could ever ask for. You can buy almost anything in life, but a good friend like Beth is priceless. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Hunter, and I chose to do my mom, Kathy Hunter. My mom is a loving, kind person who works hard. She can't have a job because she has a disease, but does work around the house. My mom is a great cook. When she was little, she used to watch her mom. Now she is teaching me. Because she has a dis disability, she could only have one child. Hi, my name is Cody Savello, and I chose Mary Lambert for my Real Women essay. Out of all the wonderful women out there, I chose my grandmother, Mary Lambert, for my essay because she's had a pretty hard life, yet, and yet she got through it all and always seems happy. She was born on April 2nd, 1934 in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. She went to school at Crane Central and PHS. Mary loved going to school and was an honor student. If she, if she had the chance to live her life over, she would have gone to college instead of stopping at the end of high school. She didn't play sports, but she liked to go and watch the sports that the school supported. Instead, she would help her family by doing chores at home. Marie got married twice, and both husbands died. She had to raise three children through good and bad times. It was hard for her to raise three children and, and to have two husbands die, but she got through it all and became a strong and loving person. My name's Stephanie Landry, and I did my sister-in-law, Yimi Z. When Yimi Z came over to America, she didn't know any English, but she worked extremely hard, and by sixth grade, she was an honor student in school. She made it to college, and because of her love for math and science, she became an engineer. Yimi Z accomplished her dreams and is a role model to me and many others. My name is Trisha Lydon. I did my essay on my mom, Teresa. My mom is a very hard-working mother. She tries to help everyone when they are deaf. She takes good care of my brother and me. My name is Kayla Smith. I did my essay on my mom, Carol Smith. She is a caring and loving person. She depends on her jobs to financially take care of her children. 
When my mom wants something, she will go for it no matter how hard it is. That's why I chose her for my essay. My name is Eugene Shepard. I did my essay on my grandmother, Beatrice Shepard. She is a loving grandmother and she loves her family. That is why I chose her for my essay. Hi, my name is Tara Fun, and I had an essay on my mom, Lori Fun. I chose my mom for this essay because she is the most loving and caring person I know. The best quality about my mom is her personality. My mom has a ton of patience with having to take care of a family of five. She always has time for anything. I look up to my mom because she is the most smartest and most coolest mom I know. I love my mom. My name is Nora Barber. I did my essay on my mom, Ann Barber. She left working as a nurse to stay with my brother and me. She has two children and a husband to love and to care for. Hello, my name is Amanda Petrowski. I did my essay on my mother, Jeannie Petrowski. I wrote about her because she is determined to find out who her real parents are. She was adopted and I love her. Hi, my name is Mike Shepard. For my essay, I did my dad. His name is Jim Shepard. He cares for his wife and two children. He also cares for me when I am sick. That is why I love my dad. My name is Brittany Winchell. I did my essay on my Aunt Lisa. I chose to do my aunt for this essay because she is a very loving, caring, and a hardworking person. She is a great role model in my life. Hi, my name is Victoria Lewis, and for my essay, I did Lisa Lewis. Lisa Lewis is not related to me. She spells her last name different. Lisa Lewis and I have conversations together. We talk about a lot of different things. She has three kids and a husband. I chose Lisa Lewis because she is a nice person and she listens to me. Hi, my name is Melanie Council and I am doing my essay on my mom, Nancy Council. While I was interviewing her, she told me this story. One day when her mom told her to go pick some carrots outside, she found a diamond ring on one of them. But what was weird is that she that the garden was never that the garden was never a garden before she moved there. She gave it to her grandmother and then her grandmother gave it back to her because the it was wearing from the milk bucket. Hi, my name is Brett Tatro, and I did my report on my sister, Heather Kennis. She is very inspiring to me because she always wanted to be a hairdresser, and now she owns her own shop in Stockbridge. She named it Style Law. Hi, my name is Michelle Dowling. I did my essay on my mom because she is a hard worker with women of domestic violence. Also, because she is the citizen of the year. I did it because my mom is a special person. Hi, my name is Richard, and I did my report on my mom. She has a very interesting life and is an amazing woman. She was born on February 28th and lived on Dartmouth Street. She works at Providence Care in Greylock Nursing Home. Hi, my name is Justina Burnham. For my essay, I chose my aunt, Pauline Scalise. I chose my aunt because she's everything I want to be when I grow up. My aunt has three children, Shannon, Chris, and Joe. She's very successful in her life and what she does as a living. My aunt is very concerned in my life. If I had to choose a person who fills me with joy, passion, and is very concerned about the choices I'd make, I'd choose my aunt, Pauline Scalise. Hi, my name is Sinead Peltier, and I picked my mom. I wrote my essay on my mom. I, I, wrote, I picked my mom because she is a nice person and she cares about her family. Hi, my name is Alan Miller and for my essay I ch chose my friend Renee Brandon. I chose her because she helps me with everything. She works at the Rat Lion Inn in Stockbridge as a waitress. She is my best friend. Hi, my name is Amanda and I chose my great grandmother Lucy Radhouse for the topic of my essay because when you say real woman she comes to mind. She was best known in my family for her great cooking skills and religion commitment. This is a picture of her on her 81st birthday. Liz Rutledge is going to read part of my great grandmother's favorite poem. The Highwayman by Alfred Noyes. And still of a winter's night, they say, when the wind is in the trees, when the moon is a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas, when the road is a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, a highwayman comes riding, 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 a highwayman comes riding, 
up to the old inn door. Over the cobbles he clatters and clangs in the dark inn yard. He taps with his whip on the shutters, but all is locked and barred. He whistles a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there but the landlord's black-eyed daughter, Bess.